Hello and welcome to World of Warships, uh, a game by Wargaming. Uh, it is obviously a game of warships um, from around the world, but as it's in CBT, closed beta test, there are only two main countries, uh, because USSR is only premium at the moment. But there is the United States of America where you have their high firepower uh, main batteries, low torpedo destroyers. Have the same kind of thing with uh, their cruisers and then you have aircraft carriers. Japan on the other hand has good torpedo uh, later on. Good torpedoes pretty good guns, very very nimble. And they also have pretty much the same thing for their cruisers, but they also have the great and wonderful destroyers, including at tier 10, the Yamato, which is this beast. Look at that. Ah, it's got so many stupid amount of guns. That is just ridiculously large amount of guns. And that is a large gun. But I'm nowhere near that. I am at tier 5 with the Congo. Congo. Not Congo. Congo. It has, um, let's see, 156 mil guns, four uh, double barreled turrets. For secondary armament, it has 127 mil uh, four double barrels, again, as well as 152 side guns, uh, which is 14 uh, one barrel configuration. It also has a vast amount of AA, the best at tier 5. As you can see, it has those bad boys, and those, and you can't forget about those. 127 mil. Oh yeah, those are anti-aircraft. It has uh, has decent maneuverability. I wouldn't put it against it. Um, its rudder shift is uh, pretty slow. 18 seconds to go from port, which is left, um, or uh, to, all the way to starboard, which is right. Uh, that takes 18 seconds to do that. Now, I haven't fully upgraded this, so I've got the 156mm Type 41 uh, guns, but really the upgrade only just gives it soft stats, speed of which it turns, the rate of fire, which is puny, amount of difference, and, um, and a slightly extra damage. But uh, this this is a fast, fast battleship, it goes at 30 knots at top speed, which is a fairly decent speed. But uh, let's give you a quick overlook of uh, of World of Warships. So, the important thing to remember is this is closed beta, so everything is bound to change at some point. So what you start as is uh, rank 1. When you get the game, which you can do by uh, purchasing a premium vehicle for uh, a, a reasonable sum and you get access to the closed beta. But as you get in you start at rank 1 which means that you fight a team against bots. You, uh, other players and you play against bots. And that may sound easy but they are bastards and hardcore. Second rank is when you go PvP, full PvP third rank you get daily missions which I've done all of mine today. Fourth rank you can use free experience which you gain 5% uh, um, of experience that you get from a battle goes into a it goes into free experience which you then convert yeah available free experience and which you convert with uh, gold doubloons um, which is just like gold it's, it's premium money. You, you you spend money on it. 
Rank 5 you get ship commanders where you upgrade your commander um, for your ship and uh, that, that increases uh, some soft stats like uh, guns turning, better accuracy, everything like that. And at rank 6 you can unlock upgrades which, if I quickly show you on the Congo, is this bit. So I only have the main battery modification 2 which uh, decreases loading time and aiming speed, so always good. So I have that. But, I'm sure you didn't come just to listen to me talk. No, let's get into a game. Now because this is a closed beta, there's only like 2,000 people on at the moment. It goes up and down very, very quickly. Last night it was at 7,000. Not sure. But because it's closed beta, we can come up against anything like The Sims, which is a tier 7 um, light cruiser or destroyer. I'm not, I think it might be a destroyer. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I've only been playing this game for a day. Um, not even a full 24 hours. So, uh, there's there's a few tier 6s. I'm in a tier 5. I'm a little outclassed here. I'm not the lowest. There is a Myogi, which is the predecessor to the Congo. So, I'm going to use autopilot just to get over here because I'm lazy. And it's always good. Uh, it's always good to uh, go. Uh, it's always good to tell your team members where you're going, because uh, if if you don't, sometimes you have all of the battleships in one place, and it looks like we have a very good spread of battleships. The two others that were with me in the centre have gone off to the right and we have one up front which is probably the Miyogi uh, I might be able to get a shot off on this guy now for controls um, it's very simple it's point and click but for firing your main batteries that's not got enough lead time uh, for firing your main guns you have three options fire a single shot from one uh, from one barrel or, or or from one turret double click for uh, a full broadside like you saw me do earlier this guy's shooting back at me Let's see if it gets anywhere near no 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 Better luck next time. I'm about to reload. So I just double clicked and you see all of my shots have gone out. Now there's... Oh that could be good. Oh that could be very good actually. Ooh. Short. Short. Um. Um. Then there's the third way of doing things. I got hit heavily there. Third way is holding down and you get a sequential fire which is bang 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 of whatever guns you have available. And I've just used a, a battleship only capability which is to repair part, uh, part of your health over time. Has a big cooldown. Um, you also have a repair skill which is for fires and such. It's damage control. Our team basically. Is taking the lead. And you want that. Now because there's more battleships than anything Auto else, I'm not gonna run aground because the autopilot's a fucking idiot. I actually hit that cruiser. And it's always good to check 
where you're going because autopilot is a fucking idiot. They haven't tweaked it properly yet, which is understandable. Now the difference between battleships, um, or the difference between ships and tanks, is uh, obviously they're on water, and their weight differences in the metric tons. But um, also, that you with a tank, you can't really shoot upwards in an arc to try and shoot them, apart from if you're playing like artillery. Um, but with ships you can. I can't tell I think it's turning to starboard so now that destroy has used his uh, special ability. I got three hits but deal minimal damage. The destroyers have this ability to drop down smoke which makes it hard for me to see. But it's just I, I can just see over it. But if I go down, then I start getting into his arc. Now, only my forward guns can actually hit this guy. Or actually bear on him. But that's not too much of a problem. And I'm going to use my special ability again. No, I can't, apparently. I haven't taken any more damage. I'm not entirely sure how that works. But, yeah, it's a work in progress game. Autopilot the autopilot's going to run me aground. Again. It's been working quite well for me recently, but for this match it just seems to be a bit of an idiot. Now you can see my third and fourth gun batteries are starting to come to bear. And now they come to bear. What I mean come to bear, I mean that they've turned to where my uh, aiming reticle is. So I'm going to go for this guy again, but I'm not going to shoot him just yet. I'm going to wait until I clear this landmass. Landmass is rather big. Now he looks like he's going to run aground if he doesn't turn. Which would be great for me. I think he has plenty of time to turn. Just cleared that landmass. I might not have had enough lead time. I did penetrate, but not entirely. Now he's turning to starboard. Now reloading. He's not paying attention. I'm gonna hit him with a full broadside, hopefully. He's at, he's a few kilometers within my range, but uh, that's pretty much just outside my effect of firing. Now we're winning this quite handily, but I've not done much, so I'm gonna get stuck in. I'm not too concerned about my health because I'm a battleship. I have lots of it. I almost got hit by a friendly destroyer. I may not have had enough lead time down. I actually had too much. That's fine. I'm going to just slow down to three quarters max speed. Uh, he's just going to get wrecked by all those torpedoes. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yes. Oh, no. He didn't die. Ah, he died before I could get a hit. Oh, well. I'm going to get hit by his food. I don't, but that's okay. That means I can now use my special ability. And now I'm on fire, so I use my damage control systems. He's firing a high explosive on me. Which is not that good. Problem solved, sir. Reloading soon. He is getting hammered. I'm just going to stop. I'll try to come to a stop. As quickly as I can. There we go. Most of the enemy team are over here. But I'm in a very good position. To lay some fire into them. I have some landmass coming up. Which means I'll have some cover. I just shot down an enemy plane. Which is good news for me. Bad news for the enemy carrier. Uh, those look pretty good. Maybe a little far. Nope. Got him. Oh, I'm going to circle around this landmass. Torpedoes just died out. Our victory is in sight. Time to rain hell. Cleared that landmass in time. Got one hit. Nothing great. Taking some light damage. I'm going to switch to high explosive for my next salvo. Not this one. We're just after. Just set my secondary batteries to focus fire on that destroyer once we get in range. He is faster than me, but uh, that's fine. He's dodging fire left, right, and center. I can't get all my shots around onto that cruiser, so. So I'll see if I can finish this guy. Oh, come on. Straddled him. Technical term is when your shots go over and short of him. Autopilot mode disabled. Taking some light damage. I'm going to use my damage control. Not my damage control, my damage repair. One of my guns was knocked out, so I'm bringing that back up. That's the destroyer down. Enemy destroyer foundered. Right, let's go for this cruiser. Ah, that was the end of the match. Well, not bad. 111,000 credits, 1,300 experience, and 66 free experience. Shot down one aircraft, destroyed one ship, and got 18 hits. Not my best match, but it was decent. 
let's see how we did compared to everybody else. Ah, eh, mid rank, about the middle of the field, not bad considering I was nearly the lowest, and I got a kill, so I'm happy with that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Congo class battleship. And fun fact, it was designed as a light, uh, as a heavy cruiser from the uh, for the Royal Navy. Uh, Royal Navy. Uh, but we sold the designs to Japan, and they extended the hull, fitted big ass guns, fitted big ass amounts of armor, and called it a battleship. So that is the Congo with all 203 millimeters of armor in some places. I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly do. This is a very, very fun game. And I hope you guys get the chance to play it. I highly recommend it. But I'll see you guys in the next one.